Hi and welcome to this tip for Excel. Here I'm going to show you a really neat way to use a function to get the current day's date. So every day you open the workbook it'll always display today's date and you never have to update it by hand again. Now if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com search for the tutorial download it there and you'll be all good. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. This is a very simple function and once you learn it um, you may just love it. So it is equals today. That's it. Then open close parentheses and enter. So we can see today is November 4th, 2009. Tomorrow it's going to say November 5th, 2009. And we don't ever have to do anything. The only thing to make sure of is this is a function. So if you have automatic uh, calculation in your workbook turned off, this will not update every day. Most people have it turned on, but if you have it turned off, it won't update until you update the page or the workbook. But never mind that. Let's go ahead and change how it looks. So I've got it in this format right now, but I can put it in pretty much a ton of different formats. Now the way to do this, uh, the easiest way to do it is to right click the date, go to Format Cells. This window is going to open up. Go to the Number tab where it says date and now we can select all of these different ways to display the date. So we could do something like this or go back like that. So you can really make it look um, exactly how you want it to. You can put the day of the week. This one's actually really helpful. I actually like this one the most because it gives you all of the information, right? Day of the week, month, day, year. Um, so that's how you can input uh, the current day, have it updated every single day, and that's how you can also change the format. Now, there are a few formats you can change to up here, but it's not really that specific. So once again, the way to get to all of the different ways you can display the date is to select the cell, right click, format cells, this window will open up, go to the number tab, select date, should already be selected, then in this menu right here where it says type, you get all of these different choices. If that's not enough, go down to where it says custom and you can create your own custom way to display it or choose one of these types. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Like to get the workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the tutorial, download it there. And that's it for this tip.